So guys, just got some news um, about something that happened um, at the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse, our future home, as you guys know. OMG, it's blowing my mind right now. And don't worry, it's good news. Um, and I think you guys will be really, really shocked to find out. Mabuhay Squad, the thing that happened at the Mabuhay Squad farm is... Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Monica, the dog that was given to Architect Dennis and the workers working on the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse has given birth. <laughs> Remember the last time we went to our Mabuhay Squad farm and there was a dog there that was pregnant? Architect said, we're giving you one of the babies. Well, she happened to give birth to six puppies. And guess where? Inside the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse and in the senior guest room's bathroom. Check it out. Guys, isn't that crazy? <laughs> Maybe this is a good luck. <laughs> Puppies were born in our home. So I don't know how this is gonna work. <laughs> Monica is considered an Aspin, which stands for Asong Pinoy, Filipino dog, which basically means street dog. So the dogs here in the Philippines kind of fall into two strange categories. There's like the pet dogs, like truly pet pet dogs, like Cypher, where they stay in the house and they're like treated like members of the family. And then there's like Aspins, where they're street dogs. But some people actually take ownership of these street dogs and the street dogs feel like they are part of the human pack of their owners and that's the case with Monica so she has free roam of the entire subdivision she goes in and out of our neighbors properties and all of that but she always retires at the Mabuhay squad farmhouse and hangs out with the workers there you know what I mean like she's fully bonded now to the workers and to architect Dennis every time we go there I try to approach Monica but she like shies away she doesn't know who we are but she won't shy away from the workers and with architect Dennis so I guess she belongs to them I don't know what's gonna happen when the house is done and the workers like are no longer around and architect Dennis is no longer around hopefully Monica will learn to trust us and like we can be part of her pack man like these puppies now there's six of them OMG like we have to find homes for them if I could I would like have all of those Aspens in the neighborhood neutered honestly obviously these are like Western and North American ethics for dogs uh, you know because you don't want them constantly reproducing and reproducing because street dogs here in the Philippines is a major problem so I don't know we'll see but I guess one of the puppies is ours I don't know how this is gonna work uh, we have like what 13 weeks to decide what to do maybe by then we're already moved in I don't know we'll see um, but anyways, that's the crazy news that happened on the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse. Mommy, if you're watching, puppies were born in your bathroom. <laughs> Good morning, Mabuhay Squad. Yes, a brand new day. It is a Friday. Yes, TJIF. How are you all doing? Did you sleep well? Me, I'm having some Cypher coffee. Mm. And to my lovely new followers, welcome. Welcome to the family. Good morning, Cypher. How are you doing? Cypher Bustos Garcia, or is it Garcia Bustos? Who goes first? <laughs> RJ's like, doesn't matter. Good morning, Cypher Garcia Bustos. Chewing his antler at the moment. Guys, this antler was one of the best things we ever bought him. He never gets tired of chewing it, and it never, like, gets chewed. He manages to get a little bit of the marrow inside, but, like, this chewing instinct is so satisfied by this. If we see Cypher chewing something he shouldn't be, like the edges of his crate or something, we just give him this, and then he, like, totally abandons whatever he was chewing to chew this. It really is the the best if you guys have a dog try to look for it online it's their antlers like literally from I don't know an elk or a deer or something uh, it's a rainy and cloudy Friday I'm debating whether I should run today maybe not um, today I think I'm gonna work I'm in a creative mood actually I'm in a very wonderful creative mood at the moment inspired I'm energized okay guys positive affirmation time for Friday January the 8th 
Ooh, horses. No matter what I am doing, I ask for guidance. The universe shows me the way. There you go, guys. That sounds like a song. Guys, I wonder if we could turn like some of these positive affirmations into music. I almost feel like we can. So beautiful, these horses. And yesterday, guys, were penguins. I'm loving these images this year. I see steaks marinating. Yes. Look at that. Well, they were in our freezer for quarantine last year. And we've busted them out, I guess. We're gonna have some meat today, guys. Mmm, yum. I saw at the LC pouring pineapple juice over it. Delicious, yes. So guys, turns out um, I spoke to RJ and he doesn't want to keep those puppies. So I think the puppies will just go to the workers and the workers can take them home. Maybe one day we'll adopt some Aspins uh, because they're worthy dogs too. Um, and they make good pets. And also healthy because they're so mixed, you know, the breed. It's not like a, a pure bloodline. And I know a lot of people, a lot, some of you Mabuhai squad own Aspins and really love them as members of the family. Let us know if you're one of those Aspin owners. Hi, Ate Elsie. So Cypher here is about to undergo a big lesson, guys. So remember our vlog a few days ago where I mentioned we might be traveling soon? Well, that traveling is coming next week. Um, and we'll be gone for three to four days, which is gonna be intense for him because he's lived his whole life seeing us. At first, we had to gradually get him used to us leaving him here with Ate Elsie. Because, I mean, we can't have the dog experience separation anxiety. He needs to know that sometimes we need to step out of the condo without him. But the next lesson will be us being on for three days. Now, we're gonna go visit the vet and see how he's doing in terms of his fractured hip and the blood parasite that he has been fighting. It does seem like he's like much, much better. I mean, he's totally just playing with his toys. We see him walking on all fours now see maybe pepper can play with him while we're gone we'll see guys in case you don't know there's this crazy rumor that Kim Kardashian and Kanye West broke up because Kanye has been having an affair with Jeffree Star like one of my favorite youtubers he just uploaded a video and addressed the rumors it's not true is what he's saying but it's just funny I love <laughs> Jeffree Star is just hilarious. He's so funny. He, first of all, he's always getting in trouble, always getting into controversies. And second of all, like, he just doesn't care. Like, I don't care is his attitude, you know? Just no matter what, he could be canceled a million times. He just doesn't care. Maybe that's why I like him so much. <laughs> Cypher loves playing with Adelsi. Guys, Cypher's smart, honestly. Even at the LC feels so. Nika, our cousin, who's babysat him before, also agrees. And I mean, of the dog experience I've had with, I don't know how many dogs in the past, maybe four. He's pretty smart, like for a dog. And I'm just, sometimes his intelligence blows me away. He's such a good mood resetter. Like if ever something is stressing me or I'm tired or I'm angry or whatever, I just like look at him and it all goes away like nothing matters so guys um, as mentioned we'll be traveling again locally um, and if you're wondering what, why are you traveling? You could watch our vlog two days ago where I explain why. I personally am surprised that we're traveling so soon. I mean, I am curious to know what traveling in the new normal is like and what responsible traveling would be like. Like the whole process and all of that. Um, we'll definitely be vlogging everything. But if you're asking where we'll be flying to, well, Mabuhai squad, the answer to that is 